Hey, what's up guys? It's Cliff with Paint Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today we're working in Lutz, Florida. We're here for a nice size house wash for this customer. Um, reached out to me through Google last week and we put them on the schedule for this week. Said they've been living here for about two years or so and they never had a house wash. So they gave me a call to get it cleaned up. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So this is the house here, two story home. Kind of odd color. <laughs> Never watched one this color, but you can see right over here in this wall got some discoloration, algae. The windows has algae, the trim. Same thing for over here, you can see all that right there. Pretty green. Customers just left actually. Let me just walk in here. In the back, oh yeah, over oh, here's dirty too. Yeah. Got that fake fake. This side's not that bad at all. Um, luckily for me, I don't have to wash the inside of the lanai. You know, it's crazy when I looked at the pictures online, they didn't have this built yet. So this is pretty new back here. But they didn't want to move all the furniture. Clear out, clear out the patio. It's nice too, man. I think when I looked at it online, it stopped at the wall. They didn't have this pool at all. To get up there is going to be a trick shot, which I don't have no room to back up because the fence is so close. So I'm not going to be able to shoot all of that. So I got my ladder on that side over there. I'll just go up, spray all this right here. So my game plan, I'm gonna start from, I'm gonna get up there, spray from this, this side of the wall right here on top. I'm gonna go around, soak the front, soak this side here, rinse here, going back the other way, go up, rinse that. And um, we'll be rolling the hoses up from the other side of the house, straight into the truck. It's different now because it's easier to roll up my hoses because the hoses are in the side. So I run right into the truck instead of having to pull them down the street and then roll them up in the van. It's uh, that kind of setup in the back is good for like when you're doing a lot of commercial work. You know what I'm saying? Like you're doing a lot of sidewalks. You can just run it down the street. But when I do mostly residential, so therefore, Having it on the side is the best. So we're gonna start from back there. Like I said, I'm letting up my tanks fill up a little bit before I start. All right, we're at the top. As you guys can see, a lot of discoloration. Look like they had some shutters on here before. See how dark it is, like it was covered. That's definitely not algae. Probably oxidation as well too, hit the bottom. So we're gonna stay away. Well, we spray our mix. Got an overcast day today. Supposed to rain, it said 55 degrees. I mean 55 degrees, 55 percent. <laughs> 55 percent chance rain today. So hopefully I can get my next job done. I got two jobs on the schedule today. Yep, this wall definitely got some discoloration. All right, we're gonna get down and I'll uh, go ahead and soap up the rest of the house.
we're gonna backtrack because I said I was gonna soap all the way around, come back, come back, and rinse. I'm actually gonna do two walls at a time. Um, I don't want the SH to dry on this big house. The house is like, I think the house is like 4,200 square feet. So uh, around 42, 4,500 square feet. I don't want to um, risk having the SH dry. So therefore, I'm just gonna wash two, two walls at a time. Walk, I'm gonna do this back top section, rinse this here, and then just wash the next two. I'm not in a rush. I've only been here maybe 15 minutes. So therefore, you know, there's no need to rush and, um, you know, avoid just to avoid any issues, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm just gonna let that draw for a few more minutes and I'm gonna rinse it up. I told you guys pay attention to the uh, bottom of the window sills and the ledges right there how, how dirty they are as well as uh the windows they're pretty dark so we're going downstream this wall and that wall now time to rinse let's check out everything on this side how they're looking see that spot with the algae up here I don't know if you guys can see it's turning white all the trim is starting to come out white over here seems like it's a little bit stubborn no biggie uh, I may just put some SH on a brush swipe it a few times look at the window up there see how white the window is turning so all the algae is dead. Uh, we're gonna rinse them back there, move up up here, and uh, rinse everything up. check it out so this is the front section you guys can see all that filthiness is gone from the windows that door right there the trim this paint is pretty old customer came home was asking about the back section the top he was like were you able to clean that I was like no sir that's all old paint this coloration from the old paint the house needs to be painted but the white trim stands out real good though 
the windows over here was dirty you can see no streaks on the windows whatsoever windows are shining you can see the same discoloration underneath the windows too like right here you can see right here this old paint Go on the other side got the AC blowing in there want that thing to be cold when I get it when I get in <laughs> See, this side don't look as bad because the sun doesn't really shine on this side of the house. So that's the best side right here. You will have no discoloration really on this side. You might have a little bit underneath where the water drains, underneath the windowsill, it drains. You're always gonna have those two streaks, like kind of like that right there. I have a little discoloration, but the top section, if I can give you guys a look. You see that right there? You can see right there next to the window this discoloration in the paint. But we got we got the job done. Came to do what we came to do. Um I got one more job on the schedule. So I'll see you guys when I get there. Alright you guys we at the second job this is a returning customer. Um, I've sealed their pool deck before, me and EJ. Matter of fact, uh, I clean her sister's gutters every two months. And I was just here a couple months ago, actually. I did the gutters here. Um, they want me to clean out again. Actually, no, they want the pool drain gutters clean. I don't do that, so I gotta refer them to somebody else. So, yes, this is the pool. I fell in. <laughs> That's the sister house over there across the pond. But today we're gonna be doing small service for her. She need to get the pool cage cleaned up. I know this pool cage was oxidized last time I was here. Yep. So we're gonna be cleaning these cushions. Hey, we still look good. So we're gonna clean these cushions here. So they got a little bit of some damage which i already showed them that might not come completely off but it, it needs some love they got a little bit of dirt on there you know people would jump on the pool get on here dirt get on here and everything so we're gonna clean these up i got me a about a one percent mix in my pump up sprayer of uh, sh i brought my brush just in case to agitate it and then um we're gonna give them a good rinse with the ball valve. Pretty straightforward. I'm gonna lay them all out here on the deck, get them done. side clean we're gonna flip them I'm gonna put them on the wall so the bottom side doesn't get dirty from laying down like I got them right now so I'm gonna perch them up on the wall spray the undersides I'm giving it a little yeah, agitation um, most of the time you ain't got to do all that but they do have um, a few stains so therefore you know what I'm saying give them a little brush just to agitate them so they come off easier you could actually just spray and let it dwell. It's not gonna hurt the cushions, the outdoor cushions. Uh, so therefore, you know, people get in the pool, go sit on them with chlorine on them already. So it's not gonna stain them. Um, obviously we're not going no five, six percent on them. One to two percent is plenty, all right?
right, we got both sides cleaned up. Um, with these cushions, only thing is you have to make sure you rinse really, really well. You don't want to leave no kind of trace of SH in them because the threads, that will eat the threads up. So just rinse really well and you won't have that issue. It's okay to cleaning with it, but just rinse well. So I'm just gonna leave these right here in the open area. It looks like it's gonna rain. If it does, it's gonna get rinsed again. <laughs> but uh, you wanna leave them alone in the sun and let them um, dry up real nice before you put them back under there. Yes, sir. All right, you guys, that's it for the day. Two banger, in and out. Um, early in the day right now, still. Probably gonna um, go home and uh, get that van ready to be shipped out. The van got bought already, man. So, I gotta get that van ready to be shipped out to New York. You guys enjoy the video, make sure you like, comment if you got any questions make sure you subscribe hit the bell so you know when i put up a new video you know have a great day good night and i'll see y'all in the next video peace